So we're here with uh, our good friend who uh, most of us know by now, Tom Oram. So Tom and his lovely wife, Martha, and their two children made the exodus from Naples, Florida, and came here to uh, Our Lady of Good Counsel right around, uh, it was middle of Lent, wasn't it? The very beginning, I felt kind of like a kid getting called up from Toledo into the middle of a pennant race. Yeah, it was, it was and who leaves Naples in the middle of Lent to come to Michigan? Because weather was particularly non-balmy, if I remember. The traffic was all in the other direction. Yeah, they were all going south. Um, we want to try to do just a couple things uh, with everybody right now as we get this chance to talk. The first is just to express on behalf of the whole parish, um, but mine personally, um, what a tremendous gift you are to us. Thank you. Um, you and Martha and the kids, but just as a person, first of all, and a disciple of Jesus, you're one of the most well-rounded people I think I've ever met. I remember when you and I met uh, for lunch when you came up here to interview, we talked everything from... Um, Jim Harbaugh at Stanford to uh, Shakespeare to uh, movie lines to music to <laughs> Greek and Latin to, I mean it was like everything that short attention spans yeah okay that's a yeah, nice he, he's just a tremendous individual uh, a great disciple of Jesus and one amazing musician with a very gifted voice Thank who you. as you said uh, when we talked there is able to bring out of the storehouse, both the new and the old. So um, I think it's always interesting. Jesus is hard to pin down. Mm -hmm. And um, his true disciples are likewise hard to pin down in the sense of like, there's no one thing that's the way. So we do everything from chant and Latin to praise and worship. And you're comfortable in all of it. I just want to thank you for that. Well, thank you. I, I think um, of St. Paul, you know, so I try to be all things to all people that I might, you know, in my case, reach, not say, but reach at least some. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember vivid, I remember where I was when we had that first conversation. And I felt, you, you asked me, you know, what, you know, what an image for my ministry. And I, I thought of this, that, that steward that takes from the storehouse, the old and the new. And I know it was from God because I hadn't planned it. I was really embarrassed because I was like, I don't even know where, like, Matthew 20 in the 20s, <laughs> but it was just, it's just been on my heart. I should probably look that up. And it's exactly one of the passages that's always been in my mind for us and our work as a parish, but in a particular way for music, because you know better than me, right? It's just so hard to find somebody who plays piano, guitar, and organ, <laughs> and who sings in the diversity that you sing with and are comfortable with it. So tremendous gift. Well, thank you. It, it's, it's great because there's always something different. There's, there's you know, 2,000 years of tradition we have to draw on. And uh, I always think of the Psalms, how often we're exhorted mm. to sing a new song. You know, there's, an, I, don't, I can't think of, you know, it never says sing, you know, an old song. Um, but there's, there's, room for, there's room for everything uh, in the church and we should, you know, not limit ourselves. I'll put a little pitch in. If you did not go to the Easter Vigil last year, please go this year because this year, I forget who I was sitting next to. I think it was Father John S. And so Tom, uh, if you haven't picked up by now, writes the psalm response every week, right? A new one. That's why they don't sound familiar. So he's just creating them all. And so you wrote all the psalm responses for the vigil too, didn't you? Yeah. And so we had your composition with individuals sing. It's, it, I leaned over to John. I just went, this seems like a Broadway concert. Not that I wanted to make a liturgy seem like a concert, but the caliber mm. of mm -hmm. what you had written paired with the voices that were singing them and the music was just so prayerful and so fitting for God to be worshipped in. Praise God. It was, it was really beautiful. I mean, if you, don't, if you can't bring your A game on Easter Vigil, then what are you be waiting for? But yeah, that's, the goal is, is to be good, not you know, to, to make it you know, over-professional or Broadway or whatever, but just to, because God deserves our best. You know? I think sometimes we, uh, the, the church that invented you know, the paid liturgical musician kind of for the last 50 years or so has tried to get by with, with volunteers and just kind of told ourselves, well, it's okay, you know, but, but I, you know, God deserves our, our level best. Absolutely, absolutely. We're not here just to thank Tom, though, or to acknowledge the gifts that he has. We also want to give you a chance to talk to the many people that we have in the community uh, who have great gifts mm -hmm. and whose gifts you could use, right? Definitely. So at least three calibers of gifts? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. Uh, for right now, we're, we're kind of imagining three different uh, things we want to reach out. And the first, and I think is most important and will become more important as we go on, is what we're calling worship techs. Uh, 
<laughs> kind of people that will help lead our sound ministry, uh, help with projecting things uh, like like lyrics when when needed, and also other things when we're you know launching the rerouting. Um, we'll need uh, you know at least you know a couple people at every mass pretty soon, and and so if you're kind of technologically inclined, um, if you were in the AV club in high school, or um, if you're just you know. 12 or over and you just know tech stuff, uh, we'd be willing to train you. We're, we're putting together a workshop. Those, that's probably one of our greatest needs right now. Because uh, a lot of times I, I mix the masses. Yeah, you got that little up. iPad at the, at the piano, don't you? Yep, or the organ and you know, I, I don't You're the guy who mutes me in the middle of the home, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> well, I'm just, you know. When, you. when it goes on a little long, it's like the Academy Awards, you kind of like yeah. swell it. And, and now a word from our sponsors. Let's <laughs> move to the creed, lovely. <laughs> That's something that's especially suitable, not only, but especially for youth, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like high yeah. school, college kids? Because, the, you, you know, the teens pick it up really quickly. They just kind of intuit. Um, and not that we wouldn't train anybody who is mm -hmm. willing, you know. It's kind of a neat way that you're uh, an integral part of the Mass, but you're, you're able to sit back there uh, and, and worship and just kind of have a hand on the control at all times. So, so if, if someone's out there and they're hearing you right now and they go like, yeah, I think I'd be interested in being a... A techie. What mm -hmm. would they do? Call you? Email you? Yeah, call me at the parish email. Our emails here are last name, first initial at olgcparish.net. So I'm Oram, T O R A M, as in Mary, T at OLGC Parish. Uh, and the parish number's on the website. I'd just love to uh, talk with you, uh, just find out where you're at. You awesome. Know, all, all different masses, you know, we need them for, we need people. So, first thing, sound techs or tech ministries, so sound and projection. Two more though, what else are we looking for? Want to make a call out for, for choir members. We have a great uh, number of people come out the last couple of weeks when we started out. Um, people that are returning and people that are brand new. Uh, but it's a really nice choir because it's got all ages, Father. Mm. We've got like uh, even a couple of high school kids, you know, 20 somethings, college kids, and uh, young parents all the way up to uh, uh, our older uh, parents. It's, just, it's a great, it's a beautiful image for the church. It's, mm. it's very diverse, and we sing. Accordingly, we sing everything from chant to last week. And uh, that meets on Thursday nights from 7 to 9. That's rehearsal, right? The rehearsal. Okay. And, and then we sing at the 10 o'clock Mass, uh, which we warm up for at 9.30. Now, it's growing so big, you know, we might eventually want to break it up so we could have people singing it at other Masses, too. So if you're, great. you know, because a lot of times we're like, well, I'm an 8 o'clock Mass person, I go to 8 o'clock, you know. We, you know, be willing to, you know, work towards seeing what we could create to do, you know, something at, at your Mass. And the choir last week? At 10 o'clock, sounded phenomenal. Not just loud. Anybody can be loud, right? <laughs> it was loud, but it was loud and beautiful and reverent and joyful. And it was noteworthy. It really was. Oh, so just no, thanks. And thanks to all you who are in the choir who, are, who might be watching. Thank you. That was really... So techies, choir, and then there's one other key group, isn't there? Yeah, we have at the uh, 5 o'clock mass, we have a more contemporary... Um, music and it's primarily uh, high school and uh, college students, although not solely those. Um, and we have so many people that we have a rotating uh, schedule, so it's not something you'd have to commit to, you know, more than once a month, whether you're a singer or you play guitar. Um, we have a, a guy who plays cajon, you know, we have, uh, we're any kind of uh, instrument, you just call me, email me again. And we'll set up, you know, we'll sit down and talk, and um, we meet at, at 3.30 on the Sunday to pray, uh, <laughs> to pray and to practice for the uh, 5 o'clock Mass. So singers and musicians for that ministry, right? Mm-hmm. Although when you say it like that, it sounds like Sounds like a singer is a different thing, a isn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. Well, that's just my they, musical they kind of are. ignorance. Okay. <laughs> and then what about praise and worship? Praise and worship, we're very excited. It's, it's going to start up again in October okay. on the 23rd, and uh, we're bringing in Janine Fuentes from, uh, from Florida. She's going to uh, come up and she's going to sing that weekend at the Masses, and she's going to help lead us uh, in praise and worship. Uh, and it'll be a regular thing, although not Janine coming, that would be right. nice. Um, but uh, every month we're going to meet, uh, we're going to praise God. It's going to be a little bit different this year, kind of more... Uh, a, a more time for prayer mm. and, and, mm -hmm. and silence with the Lord. Do you need people to help with that as well? Or are you pretty set? Do you need musicians? I, I feel pretty good about that. Okay. All right. But, Great. You know, 
you know, whether you, you know, it's last week if you heard Father Winslow's talk about charisms, mm. uh, the, the gifts that we put at the service of others, they're, they're not for ourselves, they're meant to be shared, they're not for our own sanctification. And I think that really crystallized a lot of things for me. Mm. Um, and so if you're someone who has gifts out there and you've been thinking about maybe how you could get involved, if it's anything music related, I'd love to talk with you. Mm, fantastic. Thanks everybody for your attention. Thank you brother again for saying Thanks, yes Bob. to the invitation to come here. Continue to pray for him, please, and for all those who are involved in the music and worship ministry, that what we do, especially at, around the altar at Mass, might give fitting glory to God. God bless. Amen.